You know I'm a huge proponent of the whole opening a gift on Christmas Day feeling. Potentially finding out if there's a new undiscovered hype that's gonna make a splash. And I think now it's the time for niche indie brands to really start making their mark, putting their best foot forward, offering a decent price, amazing quality item. And who knows, if it starts hitting with the right audience, it could potentially be in the next lineup to one of these fragrances if that's the route they choose to go in. Now I've had the dope privilege to experience a lot of niche indie brands and today is gonna be another one of those situations with a brand called Static Olfactory. Active. The head of the brand, Chris, reached out and he was like, yo, Coops, I want you to check this joint out. Give me your honest opinion on the fragrance. I don't know if it's gonna be your type of tea, but I would like to send you this piece and we got it right here on deck. Now, I did look up the notes of this fragrance when it touched down and I'm very surprised that you saw my channel and thought that this would be right up my alley. There are some very ballsy, intense notes in this fragrance that have me super curious. I don't know if this is gonna be a mass appeal beast. I'm judging it before I'm even smelling it, but we shall see. We'll crack this joint open and see. So let's roll my music so we can check out if Static Olfactive is the new hype or if they're really producing some craziness as I saw on that website. Welcome to the YouTube channel that will make you laugh more than a gaggle of unicorns mating in the Serengeti. His wealth of knowledge will make the most astute astrophysicist question. His life decisions, led by his spiritual advisors Chuck Norris and Walter Mercado, I present to you Mr. Kind of a Big Deal kind of a big deal. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Shout out to Chris Martin for sponsoring today's video and sending me this piece over for a review. Now, here is the presentation of Static Olfactive, and this particular fragrance is called Into the Wild. Now, Into the Wild has some ridiculous notes in this joint that are very aggressive, very diesel-like, very not in the Cubano space. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's a lot of features here that I like on the artistic aspect. So I like super unique, something that makes me think. I like bold, I like rich, I like sweet, but these have some deep animalic, old school fougerish type notes that are very potent according to the website. Now, a couple of the details that I saw on the website that were kind of interesting is that this joint is a 25% concentrate Concentration. And over 76% of this joint is natural. So my dude is coming out guns blazing as far as ingredients and quality, considering he said it still meets the IFRA standards. So this joint isn't gonna have like some wild chemical shit that's gonna burn your skin like acid. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's really hot. Ow, it burns. So static olfactive, creating static imagery through olfactive scent memory, which is all we look for. It's to have a piece that really sticks in our brain and reminds us of certain things, memories, times, or good feelings. But if the shit sucks, it sucks. Let's open this puppy up. I haven't smelled it as of yet. Here's still sealed. So they got a nice little hologram presentation, clean joint, and it's a slider box. Let's let this out because I'm usually dropping shit all over the place. All right, so I got the joint open. So it comes with, okay, a little card here, static, olfactive, Chris Martin, cool. And here's a little card in here with the notes and a bunch of information about the particular fragrance. When was the last time that you breathed that crisp, clean mountain air? Fam, I'm from Wash Heights in the city. The only crisp mountain clean air that I've smelled is marijuana. Is that pot I smell? And like cocaine residue. Cocaine residue on the table alone is enough to violate you. That earthy, mossed forest floor. I don't know what that smells like. Those refreshing green comfers. What? First come, first serve. When was the last time you removed yourself and escaped from the hustle and bustle of everyday life? Uh, never. I, I gotta pay the mortgage, fam. Like, I can't just take shit to, I can't just take time off. What do you think I got? You think I don't got shit to do? And experience nature in its purest essence, captured in its rawest form. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. I love that stuff, you know. So here's how the fragrance comes in a nice little coffin here, and that is a nuclear green presentation. This joint is green.edu. I mean, it looks kind of like Slimer from Ghostbusters just jizzed in this bottle. I, this is green as fuck. He slimed me. That's great actual physical contact. And I'm not gonna lie, there's a couple little things uh, floating in here. I don't know how natural this shit is, fam, but I think I see a piece of fern up in this piece. Um, what is that supposed to mean? So since I got the no breakdown right here, I, before I spray this joint, cause listen, I have a feeling this is gonna be insane right off a of rip, just based on these notes. And I'm gonna break down some of these notes, not all of them, but I'm gonna break down some of these joints just so you can get an idea of what stuck out to me in this fragrance and got me nervous. I, at the top, 
lot. We're starting off with Canadian Black Bruce Ozone Accord Cypress and Log Cabin Smoke Accord. What the hell is even that? So he essentially went to the woods and burned down somebody's crib just to get this essence. I get it. It is not the violence that sets man apart. It is the distance that he is prepared to go. Followed by in the middle, Fern Accord, Green Leaf Accord, Galbdenum, Violet Leaf Absolute, and Wild Honeysuckle Accord. We're talking about rich, green and earthy so far but wait there's more at the base cedarwood from texas everything's big in texas you know what that means agarwood non-infected heartwood from indonesia i'm glad it doesn't have an std i'm starting to notice that wild patchouli castorium oak moss and civet we're talking about like a chanel anateas type surprise bitch I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. I'm prejudging it. Let me smell this joint. But you gotta admit, if you're in the fragrance space, you know that some of these notes are diesel, fam. He's calling it into the woods. So I'm assuming that this is going to smell like the Amazon, fam. And that there's some chick walking around with like a little and like coconut covers. <laughs> I'm with it. So let's smell this joint and see what kind of experience Chris Martin is pulling off with this fragrance line. Cause this is first impressions on a niche indie brand. That's 25% concentration with 76% naturals. Whoa. Oh, we are in the jungle, baby. Holy hell. <sighs> Got some power. <clears throat> I'm not putting that to my face right now. Shit. We are in the forest, weeding through different pines and there's shit. I feel chirping in my head right now. There's a lot. There's a lot. And sometimes it's just too much. It's just too stressful. All right, hold on. Hold on. Wow, photorealism.com. Very interesting scent. <sighs> wow, it like chokes me in the back of my throat. Say so what now, what now? All right, so performance in Siage right now is, yeah, working. There is some photorealistic greenery, woods, forests, fern, acorns. Like you can feel the sensation of just walking through the jungle wearing this fragrance. It's incredibly impressive as far as the photorealism that you can just smell the green, you can smell the fern, you can smell the forest, you can smell the plants. I'm impressed, I'm definitely impressed. This isn't a mass appeal scent profile, let's just put that out there right now. But I'm definitely impressed by the picture that this shit is able to paint in my head, like that's incredibly impressive. There's also an unusual soapiness about it, like a traditional bar of soap, Irish springish green. There is a cleanliness about this joint also what's coming off on this piece is like a traditional old school barbershop shaving experience. I'm gonna do it on skin, but this is just gonna be something I'm gonna have to wash off with Brillo because it's no joke. The atomizer is very solid as well. That's a good distribution of spray. So this is something you absolutely have to just be easy with the trigger because I can see how crazy this shit is. Yeah, fuck, it's a lot, bro. That's it. I can't take it no more. So you're definitely getting your money as far as Siage is concerned so far because that is... This is definitely more of a gentleman scent. 1000%, 35 years or older. This is definitely more for that niche crowd. You gotta be a fragrant, snobby enthusiast looking for that undiscovered artsy situation that completely separates itself from anything else in the collection. Like I initially thought it was gonna be kind of Chanel Anateas kind of vibe. And luckily, thank God that castorium element is not really popping off the skin while adding any kind of animalic or fecalness to this joint. I'm actually not finding any animalic or fecal situations here. I'm actually finding more of a herbal, middle of the forest, super green, barbershop shaving foam experience. And I did all that rambling to save me time before I put this on my nose because this shit is that fucking potent. It's super classy though. Woody, green, 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 like every element of green. If you can just pull out a color palette of green, like forest green, emerald green, dark green, light green, hunter green. It's every shade of green. Now there is something pretty coming off this top note into that mid that adds a very nice subtle sweetness, a very like couple of drops of sweetness of heavy concentration of something. I'm gonna assume it's that honeysuckle, but I'm not super familiar with the honeysuckle note to be able to determine that. But this is just pure class. This is 100% gentleman attire, 35 and over, suit, corporate, elegant, tuxedo, formal attire, old school. Like I can see the old swaggy dude with the big pop-up belly, the shirt is open, three buttons, the chain is just sitting on the pillow of hair on his chest. He's got the slick back hair with the ball spots, you know, like me. Stop saying shit like that. I'm impressed. 
I'm definitely impressed. With full disclosure, I don't know how much wear I would actually get from this fragrance because it's super classy. It doesn't fit my persona, my character. It fits my age. How old do you think I am? But this is pure class. This is a dude who lives in a suit. This is a guy who walks with perfect posture. And I truly expected the quality to be decent, but I didn't expect it to be this type of quality. It's a beautiful fragrance. And these are kind of the opportunities that I give myself props for, like allowing these small brands to really showcase and put their best foot forward on my platform. And me not being closed-minded to like, oh, they're probably gonna put some water down bullshit. Static into the wild is 100% not bullshit. It's just a gentlemanly, classy, new twist on an old school Fougere type scent profile that is very, super, recalculously green. So here's where my conflict lies, right? The quality, ingredients, the scent profile, completely unique, amazing quality, crazy performance. However, not a scent profile that I find myself reaching for often because it doesn't fit my full aesthetic, my fit, or my personality. It's just too classy. I'm not that. Shocker, I know. So I'm gonna give it a solid half a ball spray. The quality, the ingredients, the scent profile, completely unique, not slacking, not subpar, but for my personal taste, not one that I see myself reaching for. So, half a ball spray it is. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> that is what we're doing, isn't it? I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to do that. If you want performance, I'm just letting that cloud. If you want performance, if you want green, ferns, acorn, pine, hot barbasol shaving foam. This fragrance has it, including performance. It's a lot, this fragrance is a lot. Couple of sprays, goes a long way. Shout out to Static Olfactive for sending over this piece for review and sponsoring today's video. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested. 35 and over, classy individuals. This scream, you know who would like this fragrance? Mr. Smelly. I think this is a Mr. Smelly type. If a fragrance can speak like Mr. I think this is a Mr. Smelly type fit. Very put together, very classy, beautiful accent. I think that's his type of energy and I think he would appreciate something like this and actually wear something like this much more often because it would just go with the entire fit. I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Let's see if I can continue to put you onto some indie brands that you ain't never heard of. Smooches. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would...